in Springfield, Illinois, State Capitol, and there is the State Capitol building, the current one. It's hot. Still in Springfield, Illinois. Now we're at the old State Capitol building. Back there is where Obama announced his presidency Not the in trash 2007. Can. Not the trash can. And inside is where Abraham Lincoln gave his house divided speech. So, Yay. and the dome is under construction. It's pretty cool. Much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Still in Springfield, we're at the tomb of Abraham Lincoln. He is buried back right there. back in there. And we just went in there and saw it. And <laughs> pretty cool. Still in Springfield, about to leave Springfield. Just stopped at this cute little coffee shop. Name William w William Vans Coffee. Yeah, yeah. so you're asleep. William, yeah, William Vans Coffee. Good stuff. We're here in St. Louis, and that is the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis behind us. Let's see how big it is. And we just got here a few hours ago, and it is very hot, and the church is very big. We're here in the Forest Park. Of St. Louis, the largest park in, or largest, or largest urban park in the United States, built in 1885. There's a nice little creek behind us. We are at Union Station, which was once the largest train station in the United States, and is now a place for tourists like ourselves. And there is an egret behind us. If you can't see it right there. Very hot today, but we're having a good time. Here at the Gateway Arch National Park. It's very big. And it is very hot outside. Yes. So we're in the tram car heading to the top of the Gateway Arch right now. We're the only two people in the tram car. It's very, very small, slightly claustrophobic, rocking back and forth. Back in Forest Park again. This is the World's Fair Pavilion, built in 1909. And behind us is a really pretty view out in Forest Park. We're on the roof deck of our hotel, the Drury Plaza. You can see the sign behind right, us. Right there. <laughs> The red sign, Jerry Plaza Hotel at the Arch, downtown St. Louis. You can see the old courthouse over there. Hi, Amanda. It has been a very nice, although very, very hot day. So hot. And we will be checking out tomorrow morning. We're here at World Bird Sanctuary with our friend the stork behind us. He's walking out of frame. He's trying to be antisocial. <laughs> But we waited in the car in the rain for a long, long time before it cleared up. And now we're going to go see the birds. Yeah. Specifically, we're excited to see Scoop, who yeah. is a white pelican. Yeah. We are still at World Bird Sanctuary. It has finally stopped raining. Mm -hmm. You can see back here, that's Scoop, a pelican that I adopted for Amanda last year. We just got done hearing a whole lot about him. Apparently he bites interns <laughs> and has a lot of personality and uh, he can't fly anymore, so he's a permanent resident. Cantank cantankerous old man, as the woman put him, but uh, he's, uh, he's our little boy, so. <laughs> we're back in Spring, uh, St. Louis again, and we're in the St. Louis University campus. And we're at this place called Pickleman's, and we got sandwiches, which are really good. And I have a blue drink, and I has a red drink, and it's been a really good trip. here at the Chahokia Mounds, which is a pre-Columbian uh, man-made mound. If you can see behind us, there's like about 150 steps that we went up to get here. This is Monk's Mound. This is Monk's Mound, which was the largest prehistoric man-made mound uh, built in like between 950 and 1100. 1200? Something like that. It's uh, hot. Again. Anyway, it's a big, tall place 
that Indians did stuff on, and most of Illinois is flat. This is not, and we've had a good time here, but it's very hot.